this other clip I thought was hilarious. It's uh, this clip I found on Reddit, which is uh, Heckler throws beer can at comedian. Now, I haven't watched the whole thing, but I assume it's pretty self-explanatory. Someone in the crowd throws a beer can at comedian, and I think I find the thing I find funny about this, just of the text alone, is that it happened to some random comedian, and it, for some reason these sort of things don't tend to happen to these people that we kind of you know laugh at here together or that I laugh at here um, on the random show. It seems to always happen to like really kind of like unknown just trying to work it out type of comedians and i think it's really unfair isn't it like you know i mean they're just trying to work it out they have no idea what's happening why someone's why someone throws something at them they're just trying to work it out so for them to be the at the butt of this stuff is a bit unfair and a bit cruel but also goes to show the harsh truth of trying to make it in whatever that industry is do you know what i mean it's really really difficult but anyway this is a clip let's see it What's your question? Did you vote for Donald Trump? Did I vote for Donald Trump? Hold on, let me, let me put the sound up a little bit. What do you think? No. Okay. Here's a question for you. Why would you ask me that in here knowing I'm the only Jew in this room? Are you trying to get me killed? If it makes you feel any better, I vote in New York. My vote doesn't matter there. It doesn't. It doesn't matter here either. It doesn't matter, guys. Guys, everybody vote for whoever you want to vote. I don't. I don't care who you voted for. I'm just happy we're all here together. So you voted for Biden. Okay. I don't know. Why does it matter? Yeah. So what? Why does it matter? I can just tell by your jokes you voted for Biden. Why are we talking about politics? I can tell by the fact that you're still talking when nobody wants you to that you voted for Trump. Boom roasted. That was a pretty, 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 pretty good joke. Alright, make some noise if you want her to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, aerial comedy, you're fucking brilliant. God, too. Did you see that? Did you see the fucking glass? Holy shit, that was like semi full as well, maybe halfway full. Let's go back that one again. One more time. No, actually, it wasn't. I don't think that was a. I don't think that was a. That wasn't a glass of beer. That was. It looks like a Pabst Blue Ribbon. I don't know why I know this. Maybe that's good. that kind of exposes me. That looks like a Pabst Blue Ribbon, um, fucking tin. Or some sort of tin of beer. It doesn't look like a thing. Doesn't it? even the sound of it. It sounds like a beer. It sounds like a tin, right? Hitting a back of a wall or something. Let's do that again. One more time. Oh no, Ariel's a fucking G. Ariel's a G. She just swigged the drink. Didn't say a word, just swigged it. Absolute G. Honestly, that was crazy. That was fucking crazy. <laughs> where did where did she perform to get that sort of hostile reaction? That wasn't even that racy of a joke. Who did you vote for? What, 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 why does that command such fucking vitriol? Where's Uncle Vinny's? Oh no, Uncle Vinny's is the one in New York, isn't it? Is Uncle Vinny's? Yeah, Uncle Vinny's is that New York? Or is that um, New Jersey? I think it's Uncle New Jersey, right? Is it, I think that's the one Joey Diaz talks about that you got to perform at. You think Uncle Vinny's. Holy shit, brother. She flanged at him, at her, sorry, innit? Crazy, 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 crazy. But I always, I just find, like I said, I just find it interesting how you never get these things happening to like the LA types. I wonder, I wonder if this is um, a consequence of them only performing to their own crowds. Because clearly, clearly Ariel was an up and comic playing to just a random crowd and getting some minutes up there, you know, polishing up her set and whatnot, wherever it may be, doing the actual real fucking what comedians are meant to be doing, right? And um, 
she's obviously hasn't built up an audience to that extent where they're going to be uh, sold out a show just there to see her. So you're having to play for randoms who are just there to see comedy, eat some fucking chicken fingers and keep it moving. So it's already, you're kind of already in enemy territory. So maybe that's why those guys in LA don't get it because they only play to their home crowd. She's actually playing to fucking legit strangers <laughs> who clearly don't like the cut of her jib because she thinks she's Jew. They think she's Jewish. They probably think she's a fucking lesbian. They probably think she, I don't know, she has fucking a million abortions. I don't know, whatever these fucking ridiculous political things people think. But God almighty, she dodged that beer can like an absolute G and drunk at the end like an absolute G as well. So big up her, man. What a fucking legend. And she reacted to it pretty well, to be fair. 